this is. Oh, there you go. Welcome to Cavalcade. I've never been so excited for aircon. Does it have aircon? God. Hang on, bear with. Oh, crikey, hang on a minute. Doesn't have aircon. Yes, it does. Ha ha! Okay, right. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome to Italy. We've just landed here in Naples. Um, very surprise trip and there's some mad road rage going on out there. Um, but yeah, we've arrived here in Naples. We just collected our trusty little Fiat Panda and we are here to spectate the Ferrari Cavalcade. Now, for those of you who, uh, who know me, um, you'll probably know that I love Ferraris and it's been a dream of mine, well, two dreams of mine would be uh, visiting the home of Ferrari, Marinello. What's going on out there? And also to follow the Cavalcade. And to do that, both in like, a matter of months is amazing. So I'm very excited, we're stuck in traffic and we're slightly late because the plane was delayed. So if everyone would get out of the way, that'd be lovely because I've got Ferraris to find. So before we even got to our first destination, we saw a whole convoy of like Pistas, LaFerraris, 812s. I thought, hmm, I think that might just be the cavalcade. So we are in hot pursuit in the little panda. I don't know how many horsepower this thing's got, but I, oh, there's another laugh coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Deary me, it's hot today. Oh, so, as you can see, we found the cars. That's from New York, that way. That is mental. So, we've kind of parked up in the trusty beast. I'll show you the car now, because it's, uh, it's an absolute weapon. Look at that. Argento Nürburgring, we fit in lovely. Mate, this is un... I can't even speak that it's so cool. Look, we're on this random little hairpin in Italy and it's absolutely boiling. I saw 32 degrees Celsius, I think. Yeah, Celsius um, on, the, uh, on the temperature gauge. But anyway, we're gonna stop here. This, is, this road here is leading to a volcano, apparently. So we're gonna stay here for a bit because some of the cars went past, including that Laf, also Laf Aperta, and loads of other things which I couldn't film because I was too busy hyperventilating. Um, so we're gonna wait here uh, and see what else turns up and then join the rest of the cars up on the volcano, which is amazing because I've never been up close to a volcano before. But anyway. I'm rambling on cars. me here but this is massively out of context but have you ever seen a crisp packet this big before i mean it's nearly bigger than me <laughs> so this is lunch um we're now at an army base now i can see in the distance behind the camera here all the cars doing drag races yes drag races um i hear a car guys i don't know what this is oh there you go <laughs> welcome to cavalcade Unreal. Okay, so um, yeah, well, the majority of the cars are in there now for their lunch stop. We're having our lunch stop. We are really kind of struggling to keep up with all the cars. We're trying to intercept them and everything. Hear that in the background? 
that was a Luso. He must have been going at least 200 k's down there. Um, but it's just so hard to just kind of intercept them because, I mean, they're Ferraris, aren't they? They're absolutely flooring everywhere, which is amazing, but really hard to film. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna nibble on the remainder of these. Plenty here for me. Um, and then wait for all them to leave and head on to their next stop. But uh, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. Mm. Look at this then. Leaving the military base with a police escort. La Ferrari, he's the spider. Oh my days, look at this. like Ferraris now, there is 115 Ferraris here. We've got La Ferraris, we've got TDS, we've got 812s, we've got TaylorMade Specials, Pista Pilotti. Unbelievable. I think there's like 13 La Ferraris on this. Look at this. Look at this. They just keep on coming. Look at this. This thing's from Japan. That's the wonderful thing about Cavalcade. He says, another Japanese piece that comes apart. There's cars here from all over the world. <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Dream come true. especially in Europe. is what 115 Ferraris look like all in convoy. Now, amongst that were two J50s, uh, extremely special cars. Um, now there's only 10 made in the world, don't mind me hopping back into the beast, um, only for the Japanese and Asian market. So seeing at least one of those return back to Europe is like unheard of. Um, so yeah, 10 made, I've never seen one. I've seen the clay model, I saw that in London for a Ferrari under the skin exhibition, but oh crikey, it's hot in here. But yeah, unbelievable. Anyway, they've all whizzed off now, so we're gonna have to try and keep up in the mighty beast, saying 37 degrees Celsius. What? Look at that, 37 degrees C, that is absurd. Anyway, let's hit the road, you trusty old thing. Let's do it. Checkpoint, and uh, there's a Matt Gray TDF behind us. <laughs> he's going to overtake me at some point because he's got far more power than me. I mean, no, he doesn't. I'm in a panda. So down, then, so down. Yeah, there we go. He's going to floor it here. Here he comes. Oh, be mine. I don't know if I've mentioned this uh, before in this video, but I am in heaven. We have all 115 odd cavalcade cars here parked out some palace here in Napoli and it's just unreal. I mean, look at this. We've got a TDF here, 
next to a LaFerrari Aperta. Now, unfortunately, we can't really go down. But at least it gives me an opportunity to kind of show you the cars, really. Um, but look at this. What a lineup. And it goes on and on and on. We've got rows and rows of these things. This is absolute heaven. Unbelievable. Look at that. Now, yes, there is some special cars here, but the J50, for me today, with the selection that we've got out today, just about takes the cake. And the fact that we've got two of them here is just unbelievable. Like I said a little bit earlier on in the video, to have two of these back here in Europe, bearing in mind they're only made for the Japanese market, is truly, truly special. And fair play to both the owners for bringing them back here. So the J50, the name behind it, uh, well, it's kind of a car to really commemorate uh, 50 years of Ferrari being in Japan, hence the name J50 for Japan 50. Only 10 of them are made. It's loosely based off of the 4, 488 Spider, so you've got quite a similar interior, uh, but a highly reworked exterior, really. Um, I don't know if it's a removable hardtop. Yeah, it looks like it by those little catches up there. But um, what a thing, what a thing. And to see both of them in convoy as well, among all of these other cars, is just... I mean, it's incredible. We've got the F50 up there next to a TDF, next to a Pista, next to an 812 with a couple more TDFs up there. And down this way as well. Got a few more Pistas up that way. And to think that these cars have literally come from all over the world. So we've got Italy, Italy, uh, America, both of these two here from Japan. That one's from uh, the UAE. Uh, Germany, this one's from Spain, you get the idea. It's just amazing to see some of Ferrari's elite customers all come together into one place um, and to just celebrate Ferrari as a brand. And this, I can't believe I haven't been to one of these before, but it's just absolutely incredible. You guys know that I love Ferrari, so you can only imagine how I'm feeling right now. I've even just gone and bought myself a Ferrari watch for the occasion as well. Amazing. Ah, right, how am I going to do this? Oh, I'm moderately in a bush right now. Okay, right. Okay. More of a bit of panda. Okay, so that was mental. Um, but I thought I'd jump on here quickly just to speak about something um, which actually both Chloe and I said instantly when we got in this car this morning. And that is, well, to any Italian viewers, I'm sorry, but you drive like lunatics. <laughs> you really do. Um, which is good and bad because well, it's rush hour now, um, uh, which isn't ideal, but hey ho, the Panda has been good. Um, but yeah, driving in Italy is ridiculous. I mean, can you see these guys here? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. This is a road, not a pavement. A move. Unbelievable. Anyway, to see all those cars outside that palace, I'm unsure about the name exactly. Um, I mean, it's some Italian name which I can't pronounce, so. Uh, oh, hello, mate. Um, yeah, so now what we're doing is that is the last stop for today's kind of route for the cavalcade. So we're now heading back to uh, Sorrento, which is where the cars are based, um, to pretty much, well, hopefully see them on the way, because we've kind of tried to intercept them again. Um, so we've left third just before. Lucky. Third time lucky. Yeah, we better be lucky. Uh, but we've seen all the cars together now, even though we couldn't really get up close to them. Uh, we, we kind of, I, I could get some B-roll to put it that way, which is good because I always like to show you guys some details of the cars. Anyway, there's about a million lanes here and I've no idea what I'm doing. So I, I think I'm in this lane. Let's be an Italian driver. I'm move out of my way. But you indicated. You, oh, you can't indicate. can't indicate. Yeah, I can't, just sit on your horn and don't indicate. That is the keys to driving in Italy. Anyway, praying we see some Ferraris, but we've got quite a long drive back to uh, Sorrento now, but uh, there's 115 around here, so I'm sure we won't struggle to find some. Oh, there we go, prime example. <laughs> You've got to be so alert, you know. I knew it wouldn't be difficult to find some cars. Oh, that's nice, that 812. So, uh, Italian traffic is being annoying as per. Like I said, it's rush hour, but it's covered and littered with Ferraris. You can probably hear that laugh idling. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. The carbon shoes. And it's come all the way from New Zealand, that car. That's what I was saying about how 
there's literally cars from all over the world. I'm in the wrong lane, but that's fine because I'm in Italy, so I can just it's overtaken a laugh. <clears throat> Don't mind me. For what seems to be a recurring theme for today's video, we've lost the cars again. So I think we're gonna head back to our Airbnb. It's been an incredibly long day, but an amazing one at that. I'm still dealing with Italian traffic, which is uh, questionable. Um, so yeah, that's gonna wrap up. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna wrap up today. Where am I going? Uh, over there. <laughs> this is honestly a mess. Um, anyway, yes, I'm gonna wrap today's video up here. I'm exhausted and all ferrari out for the day, I think, but we're gonna have a good rest this evening and do it all again tomorrow. Um, so you can be sure to see another video from day two, well, not actually day two of Cavalcade, but our second day of Cavalcade coming very soon. So make sure you are subscribed for that. Give it a like if you enjoyed the video and I shall see you then. That's not my normal outro, but I'm exhausted, so you don't have to deal with it. <laughs>